Shalom uvracha. Wishing you and all of us, and especially our brothers and sisters in the land of Israel, peace and blessing at this incredibly difficult, frightening, and complex time. This is a time where the strength of the community means so much. And so I hope you've continued and will continue to reach out to those in your circle of family and friends in Israel uh, who are in harm's way to let them know we're thinking of them and we're with them. Over at this time, our security at this time is of paramount concern. And with statements coming out from the criminal terrorist organization Hamas, uh, this is a time where security is in the forefront of our minds here at Temple. And so we wanted to update you about our situation here at Temple. First of all, we have been and remain in constant contact with police, UJ Federation, and other security professionals to assure that we are doing everything we can to keep our Temple family safe here around our home at Sinai. We have and are in constant touch and we'll continue to do everything we can to keep everyone safe. And while these consultations have shared with us that while this is a time for increased concern, that there is no specific threat that would be a reason for us to stop our activities as a community. We have been urged to continue those activities. And while we're doing so, Temple Sinai has chosen to increase security here at Temple above the powerful level that we had in place before these days, including the requesting of off-duty police personnel. And a reminder, even as we finish our new security door entrance to Temple, that much of our security project has been about strengthening the infrastructure of Temple around security, making sure that our doors are locked and secure at all times, and all of those things are firmly in place. And though our security is strong, we have chosen, of course, to add to it at this challenging time. And should we hear anything from government about the need for further steps, we will take them and inform you as well. Likewise, a reminder at this time that security for all of us is a main concern and therefore it is incumbent upon all of us to be with and for one another at this time to help us all be secure. So please do be aware, do be vigilant wherever you go, especially here at Temple. And please, if you have any concerns or see something concerning, share that immediately with one of our security personnel or any of us here at Temple, because security is our first concern. At a time like this, the enemies of human values and the enemies of Israel have made it more frightening to be together, we realize that. But we urge you at this time not to be alone. Uh, this is a time where we should limit our intake of social media and harmful media that does not add new information and just cre increases our stress. Please, whether online or in person, feel free to connect to community at this time to be here present with us uh, on Shabbat. Again, whether you're most comfortable in person or online, Sinai and community are here for you. And sadly, we already had scheduled this Tuesday night a special program on anti-Semitism and how to communicate about it to our children and grandchildren. Uh, that program will be this Tuesday night at 7 p.m., uh, which I will be uh, leading that program and uh, encourage you. We weren't planning on putting it online, but now we shall. Um, so uh, please feel free to join us this Tuesday at 7 p.m. for us to continue to interact with, with, with one another um, and to share ideas 
um, and directions about how to respond to this time and how to talk to one another and communicate with one another about it, especially to the younger members of our families, of our communities. This is a painful time and there will be, this will be a long road ahead. We will regularly be in touch to share thoughts and ideas with you. And I just wish you and all those in the land of Israel goodness and safety and security and peace. Continue to watch Temple Communications for specific ways to support uh, the victims of this horrific terrorist attack in the land of Israel and other communication for us to help one another through these challenging days. Shalom, Vol, wishing you peace and blessings.